In this question, you are going to look at the resistivity and resistance of two wires. So two wires, they have the same length and the same resistance. Hmm. Wire X is made out of material or of resistivity this much. Wire Y is made out of material of resistivity that much. Great. Diameter of X is given. You are asked to find the diameter of Y. So whenever you see these kind of statements, right, you should recall that the resistance of a wire is given by the equation of resistivity times length over area. Now, using ratio is very useful, especially when solving questions like this. Okay, so let me show you why. You have the same length and the same resistance. So R and L are constants, right? So I'm going to write here R, L are constants. If they are constant, what you have left is resistivity over area is equal to constant a constant value. So resistivity will be proportional to area, which is also proportional to diameter square because area is pi d squared over 4. So from this relationship, we can now say that the resistivity of x over the resistivity of y is equal to the diameter of x, what is the diameter of x? Let's see, 0 0.315 over the diameter of y, let's say this is dy square. So we do know the resistivity, okay, so I'm just going to plug that in. Resistivity of x is 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 8 over resistivity of y, 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 8. In fact, this one immediately you can cross out already. So 315 over dy square. Okay, so if you press calculator a bit, you will find that your dy is equal to 0 0.572. This will be mm because 0 0.315 is mm. Okay, so the answer will be C. The takeaway here is you should always be aware that this equation exists. All right, resistance of a wire is given by the resistivity equation. Rho is resistivity. L, length of the wire divided by A. Because the resistance of the wire depends on the physical dimensions and also, and also the material it is made out of. Resistivity here tells you the type of material. Length here would be the longer the wire, the larger the resistance. Also, the wider the wire, the smaller the resistance. Easier for the electron to flow. Okay, so once you identify the constants, you can write out a proportionality relationship and then use ratio to solve. Alright, that's it for this one.